It's time for tender, flaky, and moist redfish on the half shell, Cajun style. Let's get our ingredients together and get started. Make sure you have decent sized redfish fillets and leave the scales on them. You can certainly use Tony Sachery's Cajun seasoning if you want, but if you can't find it and don't have access to it, I'll show you how to make Cajun seasoning with what you already have in your pantry. Start with a half a tablespoon of salt and a half a tablespoon of black pepper. Add two teaspoons of garlic powder, a teaspoon of ground cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, quarter teaspoon of mustard powder, quarter teaspoon of dried thyme, and a quarter teaspoon of onion powder. Then we'll just mix all that up nice and good, making sure that everything is well blended together. Give it a little taste to see if it's to your liking. Now we're just going to melt some butter. It doesn't matter if you do it in the microwave or on the stove top. Put your fillets on a sheet of tin foil. And all we're going to do is make little tin foil bowls for these guys to sit in. Keep in mind if you're going to cook these fillets on a pit, you don't have to put them in tin foil, but I like to do that just to keep the moisture inside. But if you leave the scales on, you can put these directly on the pit. But it's still good to put them on a sheet of tin foil or something while you season them up. Now I'm not saying putting them directly on the pit is going to make them dry or anything, but like I said, I like to put these in tin foil even when I put them on the pit because I feel like it keeps them a little bit more moist. But feel free to experiment with this as you please. Alright, we're just going to cut our lemon into thin slices. You don't have to worry about peeling the rind off or anything. Now take your butter and just drench the top of these fillets very well. Grab the dry seasoning of your choice. I prefer Cajun seasoning, but you can use whatever you like. And from here, you're just gonna season the taste. Personally, I would suggest using plenty of seasoning. Redfish itself is pretty mild in flavor, so again, make sure you season it well enough. Then you just want to drizzle some Italian dressing over the top of each of these fillets. Finally grab your lemon slices and lay them out evenly over the top. Your fish is almost ready to start cooking. Now if you're planning on putting these in the oven or want to continue with using tin foil on the pit, then close your tin foil bowls at the top. But do it loosely, you don't want to do it too tightly. Let these marinate for about 30 minutes. While marinating, preheat your oven to broil or set your pit to get to about 550 to 600 degrees. If going in the oven, place your fillet on a cooking sheet. Set the cooking sheet on the middle oven rack. Then set your oven timer for 15 minutes. Once your pit is up to the desired heat, put your fillet on and close the lid. Regardless if in the pit or in the oven, after about 15 minutes, you want to check each fillet for doneness. It should be flaky and tender and fall apart really easily. If done correctly, it should slide right off the skin. Now 
Now that is some good looking fillets. Here's my opportunity to take a bite of each of these. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy it.